Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're like me and you like to go through social media and the internet looking for uh, carvings of what uh, what different folks have, have to offer, uh, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, um, and you'll find a, a lot, a lot of carvings out there. There's, uh, there's so much to, to look at and so much to see and uh, it helps, helps get maybe an idea of uh, what you'd like to work on next. Um, but one of the items, one of the carbs that uh, you see most often, I think you'll agree, that uh, is uh, hillbillies. See a lot of hillbillies out there and I think part, part of the reason that you see a lot of those is they're a little bit easier you know you've got a hat that uh, normally comes down over top of the eyes and you don't uh, when you, if you're a carver I think you'll agree that when you don't carve eyes it, it is a little bit easier to do so uh, I think maybe that may be part of the reason why why hillbillies are, are so popular but any any rate i i started to think about the word hillbilly and uh where that word actually came comes from that that word that name um designating uh, a type of person or somebody that uh, that comes from the way we think somebody that comes from the mountains, the mountain areas, but um, I've, I've done a little research on the word hillbilly and I think that uh, it might surprise you where the word actually uh, comes from. So stick around, we'll get into the carving of this little hillbilly and um, might learn a little something about the word hillbilly and where it comes from might surprise you so hang around and get started okay guys so today we've got a a three and a half inch long piece of basswood and we're an inch and a half square so inch and a half inch and a half and three and a half tall um, we're gonna put the we'll put his face on one of the corners on this carve so for the feet let's come up about a half an inch and for the hat you're not going to cut the the hat on the front here a couple of eyes here to let us know that that's the face so on the other three corners for his hat let's come down an inch and a quarter make a line at an inch and a quarter And we'll connect those lines. Connect those lines on the three sides here. And for his beard on the front on the face let's come down two inches and that's where we're going to get started let's uh, let's go on and take out start here at the at that beard line
go in about a half an inch or so. Come down, let's put a stop cut in at his feet. Cut down to it. You can go ahead and take out some of this in the middle too. And we're going to take these corners off. You might as well go ahead and do that. So you can go a little deeper with his feet here. Just to kind of put things in place. There's a little thunder going on outside. We might get a little, a little storm. Okay, now let's uh, let's go ahead and make the go and put you a notch on the on the hat corners on the three back corners. Cut up to them. Stop cut. Just stop cut in there and cut up to your stop cut. And we're gonna we're gonna take off all these corners too, so we may have to come back and make it a little deeper. <clears throat> After we get get this in place. All right, now let's go on and take these corners off on the head or the hat. Leave your front front alone for now. The face. And come below the on the body body side. Go ahead and take some of that off on the two sides and the back Okay, let's go back to the feet and come down a little deeper again. We've already gone probably three quarters of an inch, so we're going to get in there pretty deep on the feet. <clears throat> Let's split the feet here in the middle. Try a little line. Kind of match your this angle on top. Cut those pointy toes off.
I'm going to go back in here on these feet one more time. Let's take some more out. Four now. <clears throat> Okay, so here's your face with the two eyes. Let's go around to the back. So we're going to spin it around 180 degrees. And let's connect these two back notches at the hat. Just stop cutting all the way across and cut up to that. go pretty deep here too same thing on the opposite side of the back Okay, so now let's take off just a little bit on this face. About an eighth of an inch or so, maybe three sixteenths. Might take a little bit more off as we go. I'm sure we will down the road. <clears throat> Alright, let's come on up to the top now and take, take these top edges off of the top. Just kind of round them off a little. Probably going to have to go around two or three times just to get it with those sharp edges off. Take a lot of these corners. Take that out. When you think you've got enough, you probably need to go ahead and take some more. there 
a little tougher on top. Here's some rumbling. more off this back. You kind of look down from the top and you can start to see how you're forming a A little bit of a circle. Some more of those corners. those eyes back on there a little bit all righty <clears throat> that's what starting out looks like Okay, so for his nose, let's come down about an inch and a quarter, which is about, should be about where your, uh, your hat line is. Make you a little line there on top. And let's go stop cut straight in. Let's cut up to the bottom of that nose. And take off underneath there also. A little bit. All right, so doesn't look much like a hillbilly yet, does he? We'll get there. <clears throat> Let's go from we're going to make it the outline of the front of his hat. So from here, from this notch to this notch, we're going to go up and around a little oval. Not too awful tall above his eyes. Come back and meet in the middle. Something like that. 
then as you're cutting it out, as you're carving this line out, you can adjust a little bit if you need to, one side or the other, to make it kind of match up. Or you don't have to have them matching. I kind of like them when they're a little uneven and a little off off centered and off key, off kilter. Just to make them look a little more a little more real. So we'll start just cutting into that line down to the bottom of your hat. So a lot of you, a lot of you probably have your own, own impression of the word hillbilly. Being from Kentucky, I think uh, Kentucky folks are, are known as, or as hillbillies by most of the folks around the country. Now let's just go in here and take out what we just cut that line into. But if you're from the States, um, most hillbillies are known for folks that are around the hills, around the mountains. Mostly the Appalachian Mountains. Although, from what I understand, and you all can leave in the comments if you'd like to, if you're from out west somewhere around the Rockies, are you known as a hillbilly? If you live around the Rocky Mountains, we're just taking this out to just to find this hat on the face side. But if you don't know where the Appalachian Mountains are, they actually run a little farther than you probably think they do. They run from on the south side from Alabama all the way up to into the New England area. And just take a little bit more out of here on the face also. Kind of round it off a little on that forehead. <clears throat> But being from Kentucky, I think a lot of people consider Kentuckians as hillbillies. We are uh, some of the eastern part of the state of Kentucky, actually, right around the Appalachian Mountains. Most of them are foothills, but there are some mountainous areas the southeast part of the state or the eastern part of the state all right let's do this now where the bottom of your hat is all the way around let's gonna start at the bottom here and near near the where the this uh, stop cut is and start Taking some of that out, swooping it up. Not too drastic yet. We'll just kind of work on it here slowly. But we're going to define that swoop. 
from the bottom up. That's probably a hillbilly word, swoop. From the bottom up, just kind of start to give it a little taper. So you can see, uh, looks like a little curl at the bottom of his hat. At any rate, there's a lot of folks around the United States that probably to this day don't consider themselves hillbillies. But I'm going to tell you a little story about research that I did and where that may, where that word may have come from. I think it might surprise you if you don't already know. So back in the 1600s, if you were if you were in the British area, England, Ireland, Scotland. Catholics, Catholics were predominantly, or was the predominant religion back in the 1600s, 1700s, and a lot of it continues today, but um, most were Catholic folks. And if you were, if you were a Protestant, you were considered not part of the norm. What I'm going to do here is take from the edge of this hat and let's come down, kind of round it down to the bottom here, this uh, stop cut here on both sides if you were Protestant you were considered most an outcast and Protestants were mainly the We're just going to cut on that line here now. Put a stop cut in and then cut outside the face in. Okay. The Protestants were mainly the the common folk back in those days, 1600s. But along comes. King of England, his name was William the Third. King William the Third wanted wanted the people wanted people to have their choice of religion. So 
Same thing here, we're just gonna cut from the outside in. I'm gonna switch knives here. He wanted to have, he wanted them to have their choice of religion, so those Protestants, those common folk became big followers of King William the Third. Just flatten some of this out here. Take some of these edges off. But the Scottish people and some of the English folks that were Protestant and followers of King William and King William was actually from the Netherlands but those those folks that followed him some of them left Scotland some of them left England and they kind of all or a lot of them went to an area in Ireland, Northern Ireland, called Ulster. Ulster is a province in Ireland. But as time went on, and Catholics just did not want those kinds of folks around. Now there's, there's a lot of reasons that the people from Ulster left Northern Ireland. Some say it was because of drought. Some say it was because of poor crop production. Some say because of, just flattening out that belly a little too, because of uh, Catholics not wanting them around. Those folks from Ulster in Northern Ireland who were British, Scottish, and Irish began to come to the New World. Round some of that top off again. Not too much though, because I'm going to make a little, a little curl on his head over here on one side. So one side you could go ahead and take off a lot, but once you've established which side you want to make the little curl. I'm gonna make it on the left side. See, I've left it, I've left it heavy over here, leaving it heavy. So those folks started coming to the, what's now known as the United States. <clears throat> I'm sure they felt like they weren't wanted and they wanted a, an opportunity be somewhere where they could start over <clears throat> but a lot of these simple folk a lot of these common folk from Scotland were referred to as hill folk Good old police car, making lots of noise. And take some more off up here. And I'm gonna start swooping again. But they start coming to the United States. They, even in one, one state, Massachusetts, 
the governor in Massachusetts even he welcomed these folks that were coming in and they called them the Scotch Irish or Scots Irish I don't know exactly what the pronunciation is for Scotch I say Scotch Irish <clears throat> He welcomed those folks because he wanted people, enough folks, to uh, protect his, his state and his area around the Boston area, Massachusetts. And eventually the Appalachian area from the Native Americans. He wanted more protection, more people, more able bodies, I guess you could say. So he would give them, he was giving them land. These Scotch-Irish folks that were coming from Ulster, he was giving them land to, to settle on in the New World. So, look anything like a hillbilly yet? I don't think so either. Okay, we'll continue with the story. on the next one and we'll continue making this this little guy look like a hillbilly whatever hillbilly is supposed to look like